hero i want us to look at vba that is vishu basic for application and to begin with we need to have an overview of vba so basically we shall use microsoft access for this session so we shall begin by starting a folder so we shall start a folder this folder we can just call it uh visual basic for application for application vba then i will open the folder then inside the folder we shall create a microsoft access uh, database so we shall go to new then go to where microsoft access database is then we can just call it a uh, visual uh, visual basic basic for application tutorial remember in this session we shall create a we shall use a school management system as a case study so i open this one by double clicking once i double click like this there is no way you can run vba without actually having the skill of creating a table in microsoft access then later on creating a form and a report from the same not necessarily you create queries but queries will be by the way so here you just go to create up here then once you go to create you go to table design this is the microsoft access table design we usually have the field name data type and description and for the case description is optional so here we can just start by creating admission number the admission number of the student admission admission number remember during programming you will notice that uh, as we go to vba side it is important to avoid the space so you can see admission number i'm trying to avoid space so here data type can be text then right click set the primary key the primary key is a special field that cannot accept duplicates a field that cannot be left blank and it is actually unique it uniquely identifies the field so you shall have the admission number then you can have the student uh, the student the student name of which it is text so here we can have the student uh, that is the student class uh, student class and sometime class can be number like one two three so these are the data types we have in microsoft access this time round we use number then we can have the student stream north east west south uh, depending on the number of the streams student uh, stream then stream can be text and for that case sometimes you may opt to type the streams here uh, but for this case let's have it that way then you can have current here uh, current here you have the current here the current here is number and we want the system to automatically uh, pick today's or the current here so you click on the current here then here we have field properties these ones field properties are actually the characteristics of the field and these ones you can refer them as a variable a memory location that can store a value so this is a variable student name is a variable admission number is a variable it's just a memory location set to uh, to say uh, to keep a value so we have the current here the current here you just go to default value here you notice that um, the default value here it is a value that is automatically entered in this field for new records so here you get the explanation of everything that you do so the current year here we want it to see to be 2024 so just go to this point here you can uh, probably opt to set the year the year you put the bracket date then uh, cross the bracket that way let's first of all see what that one does so you click on the save button this is student you call it student student details student details so i click on ok then we can just go to home and click on view to see you see now 
this one takes 2024. So I go back, go to home, click the design view. This uh, pencil ruler and a set square. It's called the design view. You hit on it. It takes you back to the design mode. So here we have the current here. You see what I have done. This is the function here. Date. Then you open the bracket and cross. Then cross the whole thing. This one will pick. When we go to 2025, it will automatically uh, update that one to 2025. So we have this one. Then we have the semester. The semester. This is the semester. The semester uh, can be semester one, blah, 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 blah. So those are the semester of the student. So basically these are the... Then you can, you can also have the photo of the student or passport. Passport, passport, photo. Passport photo. In photo, we use attachment data type. So I will click on attachment. That is the attachment data type. And you can have comments or remarks or any other information. Any other information. Just type remarks. But... um. Once I type remark here, I want it to be a sentence or a paragraph, so I use memo. This is a wrong text uh, in other applications. So you can use wrong text or memo. Uh, we have short text and uh, a wrong text. The difference is the number of characters that can be accommodated. So I also wish to show you something. When now I save this one and double click, you notice that uh, here I get remarks. But I want this one displayed as any other information. So I go back home. I click on design view. So I click on the remarks field. I go to the field properties here. I go to where caption is. Here caption. You see now, caption is the label uh, for the field when used on a form. So here I just click on the uh, uh, caption and type any other information. Information. So any other information. And then I click on save. So when I go home and view, you'll notice that this comes any other information. That is the caption. But when I go back to the design mode, I use remarks in my programming. I do not use any other information. That is just to help me display or to help the customer or the user of the system understand more. That is as far as that one is concerned. So you can still have the parents' contacts or the county. Okay, you have you can have the county um, here or location. So for the county, I need it to be displayed at location, location, uh, location stroke state, stroke state. So I save that one. So when I run this one, uh, if I run this one here, I will get that uh, I have location location stroke state instead of the uh, whatever here. So you can see this one, the caption is very crucial uh, in that uh, it helps you to display otherwise. But during programming, I use these ones that uh, don't have so many characters. So this one you can just uh, explain uh, that this is the location, location or state where the student comes from comes from so the description which is optional can be used to explain more about the the field that is the variable or the field name so this is the table we have here uh, about the the student any other information you can just come later on and add here you can add here like for example the student can be taking some units you can have unit one like that uh, the, the, you can just copy this. So we copy this. We have, uh, we have unit two. Uh, we have unit three. We have unit four. We have unit five, like that. Then these ones can be used uh, to. Uh, let's say you can also have unit six. six. You can have unit seven like that then let's say for example a student picks three units so this one's you you are oh, sorry this is the county text so this one you can just set yes no data type later on will understand uh, how vba will be used to select the subjects so this this basically the information where a student can have the uh the this one here 
So guys, uh, after doing that, I can just save this one. This is the first table. It will be very useful in our work. Then we can also have another table, create table design. I have another table here now. This is the, the examination uh, capture table. Uh, so I can just have the exam, can just have the exam admission number. The admission number of the student will be duplicated here. And since we need a primary key, I said the primary key is a unique field that uh, identifies the table. We can have the serial number. Serial number. That one will not be so important. Only that it will allow us to have the uh, the the laboring the laboring of the field. So we can have automatic number. Automatic number will be one, two, three, four, blah 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 blah. So we can have that one. Then we shall have the the exam the exam stream. And the exam class, sorry. The exam class, this is where the class will be duplicated. This is number. Then you shall have the exam stream. The stream from the student will be duplicated here. Then you shall have the exam. That is the exam year. The exam year. The exam year. The exam year will be duplicated here. This is number. Then here we shall also have now the units max. Uh, we can have now the units max. You can just call it the exam. Uh, the, that is the exam. To avoid the confusion, the exam unit 1. So we shall just copy this to have the max here. So we shall copy this. I shall paste exam unit 2. We shall have exam unit 3. We shall have the exam unit 4. We shall have the exam unit 5. We shall have the exam unit 6 shall have the exam unit 7. I think we have 7. Then you can also have the exam uh, unit, uh, the exam total. The exam total uh, here. Then we shall have the exam uh, the exam grade uh, here. So exam total here can be number. Also these ones will be number number data types because uh, we shall expect the 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 system to uh, to grade. So the same case here. This is the exam grade. The exam uh, mini grade. This is the exam uh, mini grade. So on the other hand, somebody may opt to have these units graded. Every unit to have a grade. So we shall have. We can have them down here. Exam unit uh, unit uh, one grade. Uh, we can also have exam unit 2 grade. We shall have exam unit 3 grade. That's, that's G stands for grade. Exam unit 4 grade. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Grade. Then we shall have uh, the next one. Exam grade 5. That is unit 5 grade. We shall have exam unit 6 grade. Exam unit 7 grade, uh, like that. Then we shall have now the mini grade. The mini grade will be over. Remember, grades are text. So here you can just tell the user that G uh, stands for grade, for grade, like that. So uh, whoever will be reading this, then here this one, this one you can just tell the, the user that uh, uh, this is the final uh, average. Average grade for for units done like that. You can now see the importance of the description. So this is our our second table and very crucial table. So you can just save it as uh, exams exams uh, details. So this is the the tables that will be. Uh, used these are the tables that uh, will be used both this one this is the we have the the parent table this is the parent table the parent table uh let me just go home and sign it the parent table contains information that will never change like for example once you capture the student name the student name will not change but in the child table that is the exams table you'll notice that um uh, exams will keep on changing as the semester change so this is basically our first part that uh, 
uh, includes creation of the tables before we proceed. Uh, remember, our session is about Visual Basic for application. So later on, we shall be doing coding uh, once we, uh, we, we reach to where coding should be done. But before we go to coding, we need to go to queries. Remember, once you create a table, uh, you may need to query or ask questions. You want to post questions uh, to, uh, to the system. So basically, um, basically you need to, uh, to do something on this. Eh? Uh, let me just cross this one. Then we reopen it again. So we open our table again here. So our table, uh, sorry, our database consists of two tables. So we create a query. Just go to create. Remember here we have tables, queries, forms, reports, macros, and codes. There. This is now where the visual basic for application comes on. But you have to start from your left hand side. So we go to queries. To create a query, just hit on query in design view. Double click the first table. Double click the second table. You can rearrange the tables by dragging and dropping. And also by pulling this to see all the units. You see now I can be in a position to see all the units that are, are here. So I start by double clicking this to rearrange them here. So double click. I just double click all of them because I need all of them. I need all of them. I don't need photos there. So just double click. As you double click, the feeds will be aligned. So you can just uh, drag here to see the feeds. So I go again to this one. I have the admission number. I have the class streams arranged here like that. Like that. So we go ahead. We want to see all of them inserted here. So we are in unit two grid. Three, four, five, six. Remember, if you don't uh, align it here, you'll get an error code parameter value. So make sure you are very keen. So this is my query. I just save it as master. I, I save it as master. Master query master q that is master query so guys you can realize that um i have combined the two tables using a query that is one function of a query so the next thing here i'll introduce you to something called joins joins just joining together bringing together so i'll inform i'll tell microsoft access or i'll instruct microsoft access engine that whenever i choose a field from the mother table should be duplicated to the uh, child table just by dragging or rather it's like I'm creating a master relationship. So I'll take admission number to admission number. You see admission number to admission number. Then I double click. Once I double click, I use option number two. Include all records from student details. That is the parent table and only those from the child table, that is exam table, where the joint feeds are equal. So just practice on that. You see now, I create an arrow from the parent table facing to the child table. Again, I go to, to student class. I take it to exam class. Do the same, double click, use option number two. Uh -huh, like that. Then go to student stream, take it to exam stream, double click, option number two. Okay. Then current here to exams here, double click, option number two. That is include all from the parent table. You see now, from here, I just save. Now, Visual Basic for application later on, will be in a position to execute the joins by duplicating data using coding. So, I'm trying to take you step by step so that whenever we now go to coding, we will be in a position to come up with a, with a system uh, from scratch by creating the tables, by creating the queries, and then using VBA on forms, which will be now our next session, uh, whereby I will now show you how the VBA now comes in once we create a form. So uh, remember to practice on this. And once you are comfortable enough, you can now proceed to the next video. Thank you very much. Remember to subscribe. Video number two, that is part two of visual basic for application in our previous uh, 
lesson or in our previous video, we were able to create the tables and the queries, also relationship using joins. So for now, I want us to continue by designing the form. So uh, what we need to do here is to go to create, then we go to form design. Form design like that. So once you go to form, form design, you'll get detailed. So you're supposed to right click here, you go to this option, form header and footer. So you just go to that. You see now we have added form header. We have also added form footer. So the next thing you can pull this so that uh, you can accommodate many fields. You can also right click here to change the color. Then choose your favorite color from the options. You can also uh, uh, do the same here. Like for instance here, I want it to be a bit different. So we have the form header, detail, and the form footer. The next thing is to get data from the query. That is the master query. So what you do, you just go to this point, the extreme here, top left corner of the form design. You right click, you go to properties. Then this property sheet dialog box appears. You can reduce its size or automatically the size can be reduced by the system. So here you just go, uh, we have clicked here, so you choose form. Make sure here is form because there are other options. The next thing you go to row uh, record source, sorry, here you click the drop down list, then you, you choose the you choose the master query. That is the query you want. Then you can cross this one once you do that. Then the next thing here is to save your form. You click on save like here. I want to call it the dashboard. You can call it the dashboard or I can just call it the main form. Main form. I think that one makes more sense. So you can see here it is main form and it has been created here. The next thing you go to design tab up here. Then you go to add existing fields. You click on there. You will be in a position to see all the available fields. All the available fields will be here. So what you do when once you get the available fields. So once you, you, you go to this point here, there is this point. Uh, field lists, you will get the field list. I, I remember I have gotten them from design, then add existing list. Now you can click the first one. Uh, make sure you can see all of them. Like for example here, I want to see all of them that way. So you click the first one, you click, you hold the shift key on the keyboard and click the last one. You see all of them have been selected. You now drag and drop them. Then cross the field list. You see now I have been in a position to bring all the, all the feeds here. Then uh, I can now rearrange them. Like for example, you just cut this. You right click up here and paste. This is the admission number here. You can even shorten it. Admission number. You can shorten it to admission no number. Then bring this field here. This is the admission number. Admission number. Then the next thing you do the student name. You can just cut. Uh, go up there. Paste. This is the student name. You arrange. So you repeat this process. Uh, of arranging this stuff here as uh, student class uh, alternatively i can just opt to delete all these rebels the rebels are on your left then these ones i can also still remove them remember for the check boxes these are called check boxes the rebels are uh, on the right hand side but the these ones are text boxes the text boxes the rebels are uh, on your left so I can just drag this to just quicken the process and then delete. You see now I am, have been left with the text boxes. Now I can rearrange, I can arrange my text boxes here. This is the class, this is the stream. Like for example, I can have stream right like now. This is the current year, the current year here, the current year, then the semester. I can bring the semester there, the semester. Then remarks, just remove it. Uh, here, county, remove it. We don't need this. Then the next thing is to rearrange these ones. This one should be rearranged here. These are our units. Now, first of all, just remove these ones. We need the text boxes 
uh, there. We don't need the check boxes. Those ones will be used elsewhere later on in uh, in our tutorials. So here I pull this up here. Then again, mark this. The in our previous session, the joins we brought the fields that are related. Like for example, admission number from the exams table to admission number from the mother table, the students. So the same case applies here. So I will bring these ones. Remember, the text boxes from the the child table exams will be uh, uh, invisible. I will make them invisible. So that one. I just press it on top. That is admission number on top of admission number. Class on top of class. This one's uh, this one I'll bring it here. It I'll just drop it there. Just I want you to see. Then this one is the exam stream. You'll be pressed on top of exam stream. This one. Then the year will also be pressed on top of the year here. The year. So I'll press them that way. Semester. We had the exam semester. Okay, if I didn't put it, it is also a running experience. I just save this one. Go back to exams, table, right click, go to design view. So here I left, I forgot to put the exam, exam semester. So right click, insert row. So here we have ex exam, exam semester. That one is very important. So I save it there. Then I have to go back to the query and drop it there. So right click, design view. Remember I have added a field here, so I drag. You'll be in a position to see it, it's here. So I just double click. This one, exam semester. It will be added at the end. Here it is. So here again, I will take the semester to the exam semester. Just like I did the other one. Double click, use option number two, like that. So that's the way it should be. Then I cross all. Again, go back to right click, go to design view. Now, uh, I want to make sure that the semester is here. So I go back, design, I go to field list. Here, I'll be forced to add the exam semester. Here it is. So I drag it here. Cross this one again. Delete its label. You will be left with the text box around. Text box is white in color. So this one will be taken there. Mark that. The next thing, as I said earlier, I need to hide this. This one's from the, they are just here for equation. Later on when I read uh, coding in VBA, you will see the relationship why I have brought them here. So the next thing here is to bring the property sheet. Go to design, property sheet. Here it is. There is this option visible. Here, choose no. It should not be visible. Choose no. Then save your stuff. The next thing after saving is to drop this one on top of this. Like that. Uh, that way. Now, you'll notice that when I run this one, I will be in a position to see. You see, I been, later on, once I make it visible, you'll only be in a position to see the, the parent tables. The, the, the parent fields, sorry. So I go to design view again, guys. Then the next thing, still here, before I, I arrange this one, I right click here in the forms property sheet. Then I go to data. There is this uh, data set here. Now data set determines which tables you can edit. So here record set type. Remember here I have to choose form data. Then I go to record set type. Here I choose data set in constant updates. Make sure you do that. Then I save my work. Then I can now uh, go back to OR. Now, once I go to OR, make sure you scroll this upwards, up to the end there. Then you see here it is form, here it's OR. Here you see default view, change single to continuous. Here, change this one to continuous, cross this one and save your stuff. Then once you do that, we can now arrange this one. Uh, we have unit one, so I just bring unit one there. I bring unit two. I bring unit three. Uh, see what I'm doing? I'm pressing them on top of the other. I bring unit five. Uh, VBA will be in a position to display them. I bring unit six. I bring unit seven. Uh, Toto can be somewhere there, and the mini grade can be somewhere there. 
then uh, the subject grade let me say this one we just take them somewhere there so that we can have the exam grade there exam one grade two grades you press them together marks you press them together on top of the other then that one there then we have this can just take them nearer i take uh, grade five I take grade 6 of unit 6, I take of grade 7. So the next thing here is to put the rebel. Just go to design up here. AA, this is the rebel. Don't use AB, this is text box. It is used for calculations. But here, I want to put a rebel. So I click on the rebel. Here, you can just put one rebel. Or one, or you can just even put one. So here we have the, we have the cross. We have the cross. Here we have the stream. I'm just using the space bar. Here we have the year. And here we have the semester. Semester. Like that. You see now I have saved time rather than the, the first method I was using. The next thing I go back to design, take the rebel here. Uh, here, just put it uh, an empty rebel. Put space so that it doesn't disappear. Otherwise, if you don't put space, it will disappear. This one can be up to that point. Then, this is the grade. Go to design, take the rebel. Then here, uh, put a grade. The term grade. Then you can use the arrow keys. Then again, go to design, go to rebel. Then here, put the total. Total max. Then exam mini grade you can just type the mini grade the exam mini grade is not important here uh, it's not part of this it should be it should appear in the report form so after doing this you can just drag your mouse go to format up here here choose brack and also choose board like that so that you can have this the next thing very important you can also drag this and make them brack so that it can uh, be vivid then once you do that you 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 click outside then scroll scroll up until you get the form footer hold the hardware bar and pull upwards pull upwards until you get the rebels up there so i pull upwards up to here like that you see the way it looks like now <clears throat> now from here i can be in a position for example to create more space up there I can drag this downwards, then I write all this, use the arrow keys. I'm using the down arrow key to make sure that they go. Here we have the space to put other other things. You can also uh, remove this one, just the way I have done it. Then save your work, go to home, click on uh, view, this one. You see now I can be in a position to see my whatever I am doing. So when I add students, like for example, if I add student here, like admission number 101, uh, then this one is uh, done. You see now I can add one or two. This can be uh, Margaret. Margaret Adams. You see? You see now, something is happening. This can be in the form one stream north this can be in form one stream south you see now i can be in a position to add more and more fields later on and once i do this this one will be automatically added in my parent table you see it's working so the next thing here is to right click here then once you right click here you go to design view then you can now add your stuff here like for example I need to add the title of our school. Our school is, uh, we can call it Exer Academy. So I just go to design. Remember everything is done and done in design view. So I go to take rebel. I take the rebel here. Then I can draw the rebel and type. And type, this is uh, Exer Academy. Academy. High school. High school. Like that, then you click outside, then click on the rebel, go to format, I increase the font size, like for example, I can put uh, a bigger font size, like I can put that 36, that is 36, then 
go to format make it black you can also change the font size here the font style like, like that so you can also put now the school logo here if you have a logo you can put this the school logo here by going to design then insert image browse you see now when you browse uh, it can take you to where your logo is like my pictures and take a logo currently i don't have a logo so you can put your logo here then the next thing on the same point here guys i want us to put the buttons we have uh seven units so i will put seven units here just go to design then you take this this button is called togo togo button so you click and choose the togo button you can just copy control c control v i'm pasting it by pressing control v so i ha i can have the second one there uh control v that is copy paste like that then you arrange them i can uh, again copy paste then i have another one there like that uh, this is one two three four so i can hold control to copy to copy paste uh, so i can have uh, this is one two three four five six you can have our last one our last one here and copy this copy paste can have our last one here oh, sorry and do control v and i need this i just need this one that's one so this one can be unit one this one can be unit two this one can be unit three this is unit four this is unit 5, this is unit 6, and then this is unit 7, unit 7. So, uh, once now I save this one, right click, uh, sorry, click and then view. You see now, uh, my exam system is taking shape, but still we have not yet gone to VBA. Remember, I, have, I, I, I had to take you through the overview so that now whenever you go to the advanced level you'll be in a position to know exactly what's happening so uh on the other hand you can just go to design view for example for, uh, i may opt to to put this one closer you need three for this way just to to make all of them go to the same point like that and then unit seven comes here so now I can do that. You can also make this more uh, hard sum by going to design. Then you take the rectangle and then you can draw the rectangle swiftly there. Like that. Then save, home, view. You see now what I have so far. You can see now uh, I have a very attractive uh, system. Whereby if I want to fill max here for unit 1, I'll be clicking on unit 1. Then I click unit 2. Like that you need three you need five six seven so so far this is the form design in my next lesson in my next session i will be taking you through a now introduction to vba we shall go to the coding window and then we shall now start coding uh, so that you can be in a position to get the skills required in visual basic for application thank you very much remember to subscribe number three lesson number three uh, today I'll be taking you through how to create the subject or the unit selection module and also the student registration module let's start with the student registration module so basically here we shall base ourselves on student details and for that juncture we just go to create here then we go to uh, we are creating from the students table here so I will just click on uh, form design. This is my form design here. So I just enlarge it. I click, click on form header and footer to include the form header and also to include the form footer. You can opt to change the color here. Like for instance, I may give this one uh, a certain color. Also this one I can change to another different 
color for that point. This one can just opt to reduce it or remove it from the uh, the view. Then I save this one. So I save this one as um, student uh, students capture. Then the next thing I will do is to bring the data that is from the student detail to appear here. So I click on this point here. Then I click on design. Then I click on property sheet. Here I will have form because I clicked on this point. So here it should read form or then or. Here I then go to the first session. In the case you cannot see record source. You just scroll upwards. So here I will click on this down arrow and then select the table student details. This is the table here. Then I close this. The next point, still on design, I go to add existing feeds. I've been in a position to see all the feeds. So here I also click this one. It is minus sign. So I click on it until it becomes plus sign to hide the, 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 the photo or the passport photo stuff. So I click on the first one, hold shift key on the keyboard. I click up to county. Then I drag this one inside here and close this. So the next thing I'll do here is to arrange these ones according to how I want them. Like for example, I want this one. Okay, let me just undo. I want these ones can just drag. I want these ones to be to start from there. So the next thing I'll do here is to remove the photo. This one, I remove the photo. I want the photo to be alone somewhere here. So the photo or the passport to be somewhere here. Around. So I can increase this one. can drag this one to increase. Then the location or the state should be up there to, uh, to be at the same. Then the remarks to be somewhere there. Then I also reduce this. I don't need a very big... Uh, I don't think uh, I need a very big um, form. So the next point, I, the next thing I do here, first of all, I can bring this one, uh, sorry, I can bring this one up to that point. The next thing is to format. So I drag this one. Uh, first of all, I just need this one to go up to that point to be the same uh, so that they can take the same format. So this one I bring up to that point. I also bring this one up to that point. Uh, then I drag. I go to format, uh, write a line, then put them carabrack and bold. The same case applies here. This ones I want to increase their, their size up to that point. Then I make them the same. The next thing here, I do the same up to that point. Also, this the, the name passport should be uh, board, and then this is, this one should be separated. I want this one to have the passport photo there of the student. The next thing, I just go to design, rebo, and then I can just have the, the title of this here. That is the student, the student's capture. That is the student's details details capture form then i click outside then i click on the rebel then i want this one to be centered then you arrange the uh, you you change the fonts then i also increase the the size of this one so this is the student capture form or you can just remove the the word form because everybody knows it's a form so this is what i have the next thing i need to do here is to make sure that when I go home and view this form, it doesn't fill the screen. So I right click here, I go to design view, then I go back to design, I go back to property sheet, then I go to this point, choose form, because I'm dealing with the form. Then when I go to all, there is this session, pop up and model. So I click, I change that one to yes, I change that one to yes. Model, yes, pop up, yes. See what happens. When I click and close that one, then save my form, then go to home view. You see now my form is somehow well formatted, small in size and pop-up. It is a pop-up form, which is attractive. So the next point I'll do here is to add the buttons. I used to add the button, the cross button. So I needed to have the cross button somewhere here. 
and this time round I am using VBA. So I will introduce you the code for cross button. So the code for cross button, you can just take it from the uh, description or from the comment, the first comment I make there. So this is the form, uh, the, the code. This is the code for uh, cross button. So the word confirmation here, you can change it to uh, anything like the, the title you want right now. Uh, confirm, uh, do you want to cross? Uh, do you want to cross? Do you want to cross? Do you want to cross? Ex exclamation mark. So I just copy this, this part here. That part, I copy that. Then guys, once I do that, I go back to my session here. Then I'll put a toggle button. This is the toggle button. So I click here and then uh, draw a toggle button here. Then type cross like that, uh, cross. The next thing, I click on the button, I go to property sheet, then I go to event, on click. Wait, what happens when I click? You choose event procedure, then click these three dots. Then paste your code here in the VBA. Now we have started dealing with the VBA. You see where now I have posted or uh, uh, pasted my code. You save, then click this access, Microsoft access button. Then save your stuff and view. So when I click on it, you see what happens. Do you want to cross? Are you sure you want to cross the form? So when I click on no, I am retained on the form. When I click on yes, I am exited from the form. The next thing I want to introduce here is a title, whereby I will be putting a certain code on every form, and when I execute the form, the form will read the, the title of the school. That is a school name automatically up here using a text box. That code is called DROOKUP. It's a VBA a session whereby I use a DROOKUP code. So I right click on this one, then I go to Design View. The next thing I do, I create a table. So I just go to Create, then Table Design. Here I just put a serial number, uh, automatic. This is auto number, move this one. I put it auto number and the primary key. Then the next thing here is the school, the school uh, title. We can just call it the school or the school name or title, whichever. School, school uh, title. So in the school title, school title here it should be text. So I save that one and call it school title. So uh, the next thing is to view it, then type the school name here. So the, our school name is Exer, Exer Academy, Exer Academy High School. So once you do that, high school, once you do that, this is the, remember this is called the school title. So this is the name of the school. So I cross this one. Once I cross this one, I go back to my form. I go back, first of all, I need to cross the VBA. I go back to my form. My form is student capture. I click, go to design view. When you are in design view, you put a text box. A text box is AB. So I'll draw a text box here. That is the AB. Then remove its label. It has two sessions. It has two parts, uh, the label and the text box itself. So here, I'll type a DROOKUP code. So I just type equals to D, uh, D, Rook up, then you, you open the bracket, you open the double quotes, you put the, the name. I am checking for school title. Where am I checking the school title? You put a comma, then the table name. The table name is called uh, school, small letter, school title, the same. It's called the same. I'm checking a field called school title from school title. You cross the bracket. Once you do that, you make sure that this one is a bigger font, a font that you can see. So I go to form, format. I can increase this one to 24. Then centered and bold and black. Then I click on save, go home and view. Let's see. You see now, uh, it has brought an error. This error, we, ha we have to correct the error. So here, we are checking D lookup for the, the school title uh, from school title. So here... Uh, let's try to put square brackets here. 
see what happens when we put some square bracket and view and we still have an error so we can just confirm we can just confirm on the this is the d lookup we are looking for screw title from a table called screw title so we can just confirm on the code so we just go to this point here go to d lookup and confirm how that code is uh, the code should be as uh, follows here we have the d lookup uh, the field and then uh, that one okay the the other thing here uh, is to change is to change the the table name from screw title so that the fields cannot have the same name that is the the school title and the table that, that is the the field name and the table should not have the same uh, name so we have school title from school then go to format make sure this one is well formatted by clicking on outside then here you can just uh, make sure that this is not white in color go to design go to property sheet here then go to or then there is this point uh, back style normal here you change it to transparent uh, back style also this one i think you should change it to transparent that means it will have the same uh, the same color and guys for the same note you notice that uh, the 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 background is the same and this this the name of the school excel academy has been taken automatically so we can copy this code to other forms like for example just go to design view here then take this code can take this code by copying it control c then uh, we had uh, uh, we want to center it then save that one i close this one then i go to main, our main form right click go to design view here we want the the, the this this name excel academy to automatically uh, uh, appear here from the school uh, table so i take the text box again i draw my text box there I remove the label then i paste my code here paste then i click outside then i click on the text box and increase this one to size 24 i make it color black and centered then remember what we have done go to design go to property sheet go to back style change it to transparent so that it can have the same color then save and run it will automatically read excel academy high school using the DROOKUP function so we proceed with the same with the students capture form here remember this is what we are doing so in our student capture form so far this is how it looks like you see now you can be in a position to capture the student um, uh, that is the student uh, you can capture the student information you can also right click here go to design view and make sure this one uh, goes up here so that it can be a position to see go to format make it center then you can save it go to home and do that so this is our student uh, capture form whereby we have the the cross button here for using vba then the next thing here you can just include student photo by double clicking go to add here then you can be in a position to uh, go to pictures you can add the student photo that you, you wish to to, to have there like for example if i need a student there i can just take a photo of a student like for example let's say this is my student you see now this photo will automatically uh, appear here in the in the that is in the box so once i do that i can now disable this part you see this part i want to disable this part these records here and put my buttons here also disable the minimize the maximize and cross button so i right click go to design view i go to design view of this right click go to design view then i go to property sheet then uh, this is my property sheet in my property sheet here i can reduce the i can remove the 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 buttons as i wish by going to this point here i navigation buttons i don't want them record selection no uh, then I just go to cross button, no, control box, no, maximize and minimize, neither. I just choose neither, neither or none, 
depending on the computer you are using. So I close that one and save my work. Because I have now disabled the I have disabled those ones, I need to put mine here. So I can just put my buttons by clicking on this button. Then I drag the wizard comes, so I select next, next, text, finish. Again, I repeat on the same button. I choose the, the, the wizard, previous, next, text, finish. I want them to be of, of the same size, so you can drag. Then I also need the add new here. Add new, I just go to record operations, add new, next, add text, next, finish. I again drag that one to required size, like that. Then I can also add delete record here by dragging on it. Then I go to record operations, delete, next, text, next, finish. That is the delete button. Once I do that, I can drag my mouse and then give them the uh, a good finish uh, according to how I wish them to be. Like for example, I want them to be color green, like that. I can also draw a rectangle on top of it just to make them more attractive to the reader, like that. So once I do that, I save, then click on view. You see now I have my buttons. You see now my form is professional. It doesn't have the cross buttons since I also have including the VBA code here. You see now I have included the VBA code for this matter. Uh, yes, it goes. When I click on cross, no, I'm retained here. And then you can see now the Excel Academy using the DRUCAP. It's automatically now created here. So this is the student now capture form. And uh, you have seen now I have included some functionalities i have removed the unwanted parts of the form and i also have included the cross button using the vba in my next in my next uh, lesson i'll be taking you through how to create the subject or units selection module remember to subscribe okay welcome to uh, our next session in this module, I'll be taking you through subject selection uh, module. So basically here, you just go to create, then you go to uh, an empty form, form design. Then this one, you can just enlarge it. Right click, go back to form, header, and footer. Then the next thing, you change the color. I like changing the color. Our color will be green, and also this one will be orange. So I save this one as subject, uh, subjects, subjects. I can just call it subjects or units. So the next thing is to bring data on top of this form by clicking here, then go to property sheet. Then here you choose the record source. Our record source here will be a query. And for that case, allow me to create a query very fast. So I go to create, then I go to query uh, design. I am using the student a module only. So here I'll have the admission number, I'll have the student name, class, the stream, then I'll also have now the units. The units, unit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Then this one, I can just save it as a subject, uh, subjects, subjects, since the other one, the other one was subject, subject selection selection like that so when i run it you'll be in a position to see what i have i have the admission number student name class semester or uh, sorry the the stream and then the units just to avoid so many uh, details so i click on this point here or you can right click go to properties then record source i choose now the query the query is subject selections then i close the next thing I go to design, don't forget I'm going to design, then click on add existing fields. These are the fields, admission number of the eight unit seven, hold shift key, and then drag them inside here. Then close this one. Now the next thing to do here is to arrange this, just remove the labels. The labels are always on your left. So I, I bring the admission number there. I bring the student name next here. The admission, uh, that is the student name. Then I bring the class next. 
that is the class. I bring the stream there. That is the stream of the student. Then I can now remove these ones. These ones you can just remove them. Then arrange them. You can just bring them up here. Then just arrange them uh, one by one. Like that. You can just arrange them one. Uh, sorry. You can just arrange them one by one. Uh, inside the boxes. Like that. See what I'm doing. Remember, uh, our lesson is VBA. Then the next thing, uh, you can give these ones uh, a, a good finish. Just make them darker. Then go down here, pull this, the form footer, all the way up to this point. You see what I have done. You can remove the form footer. For now, you are not using the form footer. Then the next thing, when you are still here, click on this point, right click, go to property sheet, and then this reads form. Default view here, change single form to continuous, like that, so that every data can be displayed. Otherwise, it will display only one, uh, one line of record, so that when you put it, and, and that is continuous, every data will be displayed. So far, when I go home, then view, you see now, <clears throat> I have two guys. The next thing, I want to disable this. I want to disable this new. This star means new record. That means I can add a student here. You see, I can add a student. I can add uh, a student here, Joel Kibet. You see, I can add a student. But this module here should not allow uh, uh, the user to add a student. You see now I can add a student. You see, James Mark. You see, I can add a student. And I don't want that. I need a situation whereby you cannot add a, a, a record here. So, you disable that. Go to design view. Right click here. Go to property sheet. Then go to data. There is somewhere written allow additions. This one change to no. It will hide that. Then save your work. You see now, when I run my form, you cannot add a student. I have disabled that point. The next thing uh, is to add the title of the school here. You want to add the title of the school here. So I just go to this part, A, B, that is the text box. And then I draw it just like we have done in the previous lessons. I delete the level. Then go to where our DRUCAP is. This is our DRUCAP. Copy it and then paste it here. I paste my Diru cup there. Then you click outside, then you click on the text box. And that is the inside the text box. Go to format, change the font size to around 26, centered, and then do your stuff. The next thing is to give it the same color with the background. Click on it, go to design, go to property sheet, go to or, then back style. You change it to transparent. That means it will have that. So when I run it, you see now it will have the title automatically read from the table that is school it is reading from school so again i right click go back to design view then i want to put the you see now this is the function the d lookup then i want now to put the headings here can just put use the label so you can just draw one big label like that so this is the admission number admission number of the student this is the name the name name of the student then here we have the we have the class and stream and the stream that way this is the stream so i just needed to make this one uh give it a finish like that so home view you see now it's taking shape we have admission number we have name we have class and stream then this is the subjects unit one. So it will be just ticking. You see, you can tick. This student is taking uh, this subject. You can just tick. So right click, go to design view. Also give this ones a rebo here. You have a rebo starting from that point. So we can have, we have unit one. Okay. We have unit two. We have unit three. We have a unit four. We have unit five. Unit six and unit seven. 
then click outside then you click inside that one then just just put the the finish so when i go to view you see now my <coughs> my module has taken shape so don't get shy here is taking unit three you can pick is taking unit seven and six yeah he doesn't take the others margaret is taking unit two and one and unit four we have joel is taking unit one is taking unit five five and unit that this one is taking the this ones you see now this is the subject or unit selection module that that one will an, a, enable the the student to only appear on the unit when i go back to main form here when now i click on unit one i'll only get the students taking unit one when i click on unit four i'll only get students taking unit four so the teacher will be in a position to only feel the students who are taking his or her subject or unit so i will not have all students appearing on a certain unit whereas they are not really uh, taking that unit so in my next session i'll be going back to the main form and then i'll be doing as we uh, that is the coding vba on the back that is on the back end whereby i'll show you when i click on unit one you see if you are keen enough when you click on this one you see all the units seven of them you can see the lines showing that all the units are being displayed and that is not what we want we want a situation whereby when i click on uh, unit one uh, i get unit one and for that case so that you can understand better you can just give them different colors like for example if i pull this back here i can give this one a different color so this one will, will have brown this one unit six will have a different color unit five will have a different color so when i click on it you'll be in a position to see a different color appearing so you'll be in a position to know it's actually working so three you can have it uh, unit three having um, blue that is dark blue this one will have uh, let's see let's see let's see can have red then unit one can remain with that so then you press them on top of the other so we behave we'll be in a position to do its work by making sure that when i click on a certain button only whatever i want to see appears on the screen what i don't want to see will not really appear on the screen so far now i have given every color uh, that is every unit or subject its own color so let's meet in our next session remember to subscribe okay welcome to our next session whereby i'll be taking you through the vba that is visual basic for application in our last sessions we looked at the main form we looked at the students capture form and the subject selection module that is the we, we look at this one this is the students capture a uh, screen you also checked on the subject selection or unit selection uh, module so uh, in this session i will take you through how to manipulate these buttons up here so we have the buttons you have to know the names of the buttons by going to design view so you go to design view then click on the property sheet here once you click on the property sheet if i click on this one this is togo 41 uh, this is togo 47 togo 42 togo 43 togo 44 45 and togo 46 then we have this button here this is the rebel 37 so guys here uh, i want us to have a situation whereby when these form roads none of these ones will be seen uh, not the grid not this one Whenever I click on this button, unit one, the word unit one comes here, and then the unit one text box will be opened. So uh, we go straight and do that. The first thing to code is to code on the 
uh, is to code on the uh, form module so on road module so i go to this part here you click this corner then you click on property sheet then you go to event on road on road event what happens you click on event procedure and hit these three dots so this is the visual basic for application uh, coding window at this point wherever the form uh, roads uh, i want a situation whereby unit one add uh, unit one uh, that is we have unit one uh, let, let me just go and confirm how we have called it so this is exam unit uh, it's exam unit uh, so i go back to visual basic so this is exam uh, exam unit unit one dot visible that is dot visible equals to force so I can just copy this and then change the, the, the number. So I copy this, copy, then paste. So this is unit 2 dot visible, uh, visible equals to force. Again, I paste that one, that is unit 3 dot, uh, dot visible equals to force. Then this is the next one, that is unit 4 dot visible equals to force. Uh, then we have unit 5 dot visible equals to force. Then we have uh, unit 6 dot visible equals to force. And lastly we have unit 7 dot visible, uh, that is dot visible, visible, visible equals to force. So basically here what we are doing, uh, when the form roads, all the text boxes with the names as i have said there that is uh unit one or the way to unit seven will be hidden so what i'm supposed to do is to save then cross this so once i cross this one i also cross this one then i view my form home view you see what happens now visual basic is working whereby uh, when the form roads that is in the road uh, module the text boxes have been hidden on the other hand i also want to hide this one only the total will be uh only the total will be seen so i also click on this one this is uh exam unit uh, g so again i click on this point then i click on view code so this is where i am so the, the next one here i just press escape here i can write a comment you put an apostrophe uh, uh, the below the below code is for hiding grades it's for hiding grades so down here i will be now hiding the grades that is exam unit 1 g dot visible equals to force so i can just copy this then change the number so i just paste this is 2 I paste this is two again I paste this is three I paste this one this is three again I paste this is four I paste this is four again I paste this is five uh, this is five again I paste this is uh, six I paste again this is seven see now i am making my work easier up here you can use the word rem uh, to show a comment so the below code codes is for hiding the uh the the unit the units like that you see you can use the word rem or an apostrophe for that matter again i just do this so I save my work, cross it, then go to this point also save, go home, then view. You notice that uh, Visual Basic for application is working, whereby whenever my form roads, the grid and the units have been hidden. So the next point here, 
is to make sure that um, uh, when I click unit one, unit one works. So I go back to design view and then click on unit one. This is the toggle uh, for unit one. Again, I click on it, then I go to property sheet, then I click, I go to event, then here on click, click on event procedure, hit the three dots. I will be taken to the visual basic code window. So what happens here, uh, I want a solution whereby when I click on, when I click on this, for example here, I can just uh, put an apostrophe and say uh, this button is for unit one. So whenever I reach to this point, I'm in a position to see I am working or coding on unit one. And for that uh, point, uh, I have unit one dot visible equals to true. All the others should be false. So I can just copy this. Instead of uh, doing it, I can just copy this, go to copy, then paste, paste it below here. All the other units will be false. But the unit one text box will be true. It will be displayed. The next thing here is to read on this. What is the name of this label? There is a label we put here. It is label 37. So I go back to Visual Basic. Whenever I click on uh, unit one, label 37 should say unit one. So you can just put that, uh, that code here. You can put the code here. I want to go to this point. So uh, rebo rebo 37 po, uh, dot caption equals to uh, whenever you are typing text, you must encross in double quotes. In double quotes, like this. So it will say unit one. Unit one. You see, it will, it will just uh, display. Whenever I click on unit one, it will say unit one. So I save my visual basic and cross. So save this one, go home, view. So whenever I click on unit one, you see what happens? It says unit one and then opens unit one. Now I can fill marks for unit one. So I will do the coding for all these units just by copy pasting. It will be very easy for me. So I go to unit two, we code for unit two. So unit two, I click on unit two, go to event. Then on click, select event procedure, hit the three dots. So what you need to do as a bright programmer, just copy this. Don't waste time. So I'll just copy this. Then here, I'll just comment that um, uh, this is button for unit two. For unit two. This is for unit two, not unit two off. Then I paste my code from unit one. Then change this one to unit two. Just change this one to unit two. Then unit one should not be displayed, should be false, but unit two should be true. So I'll keep on doing that, changing the codes. So that means the next code will be unit three true or the others false, but label that seven should read unit two. So I click on this one and cross, then save this one and then save. So whenever I click on unit one, you see, this is unit one. Whenever I click unit two, uh, it switches. The code is switching. So now I'm filling for unit two. And when I click unit one, it should read unit one. So I can still make this one centered. Format, this one should be centered. And color red, and also should be around 16. A big size. Save, home, view. So whenever I click on unit one, you see, unit one, unit two. You see, I give them different colors with a purpose in that you can see now what is happening. The next thing is to make sure that whenever I click here, also the grade is displayed. So we go back and edit the code, view code. So here, we have to put this. We have to copy this code for grading and then make sure that uh, grade, grade for unit one is true. So I paste it down here, paste. Then this one should be true for this case, uh, true. Again, I go to the next one, paste it here. This is for unit two, should be true. All the others should be false, like that. So when I save and cross this, then view, when I click on grade one, you see now grade is appearing. Unit two, grade will appear. But whenever 
I click on unit 3, then should be, uh, here should be grade 4 unit 3. So we continue coding, we go for grade 3, uh, unit 3, click on unit 3, go to event procedure, uh, on click, hit the three dots. Then, uh, just like we have done in the, in, the, in the previous sessions, I will just copy this. All this should be copied to make your work easier. But always comment here. So this is uh, this is button button for unit three. Don't forget that. Then paste. Then everything to do with the three becomes true. So we are here. This becomes true. All the others becomes false. Here again, false. But for unit three. Everything for unit 3 is true, like that. So I save, I go again, go to unit 4, go to event procedure, on click, hit uh, event procedure there, hit the three dots, paste your code here, but don't forget uh, this This for, for unit, unit uh, what? Unit 3. So this, this reads unit 3. Again, this reads unit 4. This is code for... This is called for, uh, for, for unit 4. Like that. So everything to do with unit 4 becomes true. Any other thing becomes false. So this is for the, uh, the other one. This is true. Again, this is false. False. Unit 4, true. That is how you go about it. Again, on the same note, uh, go to this one. We are coding for unit 5. Go to event. Uh, click the three dots. This is called for unit 5. So paste. Change this one to unit 5. This is for unit 5. Everything to do with unit 5 becomes true. Any other thing becomes false. So this is true. Again, this is false. Uh, don't confuse. This is true. Again, we go to the same point here. Go to unit 6. We are, are finishing. Go to event procedure. Hit the three dots. This is called, this is called for unit 6. Everything to do with unit 6 becomes true. This, this is unit 6. This is false. This is false. Uh, and so this one is false. That means it will not be displayed. Unit 6, true. This is true. Unit 6 here, true. Then uh, we go and code the last one, unit 7. So I go to event procedure, uh, the three dots here. Then this is code for unit 7. Use unit 7. Then paste your stuff. Any other thing becomes false. But the anything to do with Unit 7 becomes true. So this is true. Again, this is true. Again, this is false here. This is false. So I am done with that uh, uh, simple coding on VBA. So when I save and view, uh, now everything should work perfectly. When I click on Unit 7, you see I am in Unit 7. When I am in Unit 6, I am in Unit 5, I am in Unit 4, Unit 3, Unit 1, uh, and then Unit 2. Then the next thing here is to make sure that the data that I fill here, that is the, the data set, should be in constant. So I just go to this one uh, here. I click on data. Sorry, first of all, I click here so that the form can uh, appear. Make sure here, data set is in constant here. Here, that is the record set type should read Dynaset in consistency, just like you can see from this point here. You see, Dynaset should be in consistency updates here. That's whatever I'm talking about. Make sure it is Dynaset like that. You set it like that to make sure that this data is fed on the system. So this is a, a bit of uh, whatever I wanted us to do in this session. So in our next session, we shall now connect this main form with the query so that um, whenever I feed data, the data is actually uh, fed in the two tables concurrently without messing up. Still, we shall be doing Visual Basic for application. Remember to subscribe.
Okay, welcome back. This is our tutorial 6 or lesson number 6. We are almost uh, done with the system. So here, I want us to do equation. Equ uh, equation whereby we shall equate feeds from the child table to the mother table. Remember, we did that in joints, using joints. But now, I want us to equate them in the VBA. So, what you do, you take the feeds that are the same. Like, for example, we have this admission number. Just copy it so that uh, you don't uh, mess up with the, with the code. So, we have admission number. Then, in the child table, we have this field. That is exam admission number. So, what I need to do here is to equate uh, that... Uh, this field equals to the other one. That is the exam admission number equals to admission number in the other table. Remember not to uh, not to name the fields uh, using the same words. So then we have the class, the exam class. I copy this, the exam class. The exam class should equal to the other one. Here it is called student class. Just like I did there when I was pressing... Uh, one on top of the other one. You remember that? So the next one is uh, exam stream. I copy the exam stream. I'm copying to make sure that the spellings are correct. Then this is the student stream. Sorry, uh, I paste it back. I want to copy not to cut. So this is the stream, the class stream. The next one is the uh, current. Uh, that, that is the current here. The current here here this is from the mother table so we need to copy the year the year here is called the exam year so the exam year here the exam year you paste the exam year then the next one is the semester the exam semester i made sure that i don't use confusing terms so the the, the exam semester then here we have the semester. It's just called the semester. Only those ones. You, you, you only equate the feeds that uh, you used in the joints. You see what I have done? So I'm taking the child equals to parent, but not parent equals to child. So the, 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 the feeds for the child are always on your left hand side. So I click here, cross all. Now I want to go to the, to the uh, VBA. So I copy all this. So edit, copy. Can just save this one uh, somewhere. Just save this one in my VBA. Just save this is e equation. So I uh, copy again. So the next thing here, I go to the main form. I go to design view. Then uh, when I click on this button here, unit one, I just go to property sheet, then on click, here on click, I just uh, go to this. So I'll add this one. I can add those ones here. For every uh, unit, I'll copy them. So you just paste them there. You see what I have done? So we can just start uh, uh, above here. Because I can see all the codes are here. So you can start by pasting them there. Uh, semester. Again go to this point you can paste them anywhere you can paste them anywhere so you you, you can paste them anywhere you can paste them up or just at the bottom but i opt to paste them there so we have pasted from there Again, we can paste here, paste there. We can paste here, can paste there. Uh, we can paste there. We can also paste there. Just like that. You can also paste here, paste there. You can also paste it here paste there that is the equation so so far i have done that one also it's very crucial to include here option explicit 
option x preset it's good to do that then uh, once i am done with that one now so far uh, so far now i have done something very important that when whenever i will be uh, feeding the the max uh, if you are keen enough if you can remember here you see there is exam admission number on top of the admission number so the, whenever i'll be keying in the max the uh, that is the the the, um, the system will be equating alternatively somebody else may also include the following uh, you see now this point here mm -hmm. this is we have done on the button whenever i click on this point here you see this is very crucial mark this uh, i am now on the on the on the text box like for example i am in exam unit 7 uh let me just remove this one so we have unit 6 like that this we have these buttons unit 3 i want us to have unit 1 we start with unit 1 when i click on unit 1 i then go to property sheet then i go to event then i go on roast focus this one so this is a macro or function that runs when a control or a form loses the focus so on rust focus i choose the event procedure then i hit on the three dots you see now this is for you a unit one so this one i just paste i paste the the the, the code this is the equation code here exam one equals whatever whatever now instead of again going to the others i can just copy this and change the number so i copy this and then i just paste it below here this is for unit two just change this one to to two again paste change this one to three you see now how i am making my work easier rather than coding for everything then this is for unit dot rust focus for unit uh, four again paste on rust focus for unit five again i paste on rust focus for unit six again here I paste on rust focus for uh, unit 7. That is for unit 7. Like that. You see what I have done. So you can just pause the video and uh, try to internalize how I have gone about that one. The next thing here is to rearrange this back. You can rearrange them back. VBA will be in a position to extract whatever, whenever you click. So it's not a, 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 a must that you arrange them in order that is unit one followed by unit two no uh, vba will be in a position to extract whatever you ask for so i pull that back like that now um the next thing here is to uh now connect this one with the query so i connect this one with the query uh, via another form so i create another filter another small filter form then that filter form will be used to uh, connect this one so uh, what you need to do here is to cross this one first then go to we just cross this completely i uh, remember i will be using the master queue uh, hopefully i have used the master queue so i can just confirm whether my row record source is master queue so just scroll here just scroll Whenever I scroll here, it will be a position to see whether, yeah, it's here. My record source is master queue. So that is the query I use for connection. The next thing here is to create a filter form. So I just go to this point, go to more forms, then click on model dialogue. Then remove these ones, remove these buttons. That is uh, okay, cancel. You can also reduce the size. So this is my form. You can just call uh, call it filter then uh, change the color you can change the color for this one then the next thing here is to draw a combo box so i'll draw some combo box so this is combo this one so this is for the year this is for the year then you can just copy this copy paste like that i've pasted so this is for 
for the uh, crass. This is for the crass. This is for the stream. This is for the stream. Uh, crass stream. This is for the semester. Semester. So we don't need this. We don't need this one. This is the, the ones we need. Then, uh, for got format, you can change the the color like that. This one also you can change the color like that. So this is what we have. Then after we have this one, you can just take it there. Then also reduce the size of this one to that point. You see what I am doing? So the next thing here is to is to make sure that whenever I run this one, you see now when I run this one, it is not leading anything. You see there is nothing. So I need to go to design view, then put a button here. I can just put a toggle button here. And then this is uh, enter max. Enter max. Then you can just change the color. Enter max. Enter max. So enter max. Then uh, you can also put the cross button. Cross. 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 That is the cross. That is cross. Cross. So, uh, on, on this same here, I can just put it like that. Save this one. So, the next thing to do here is to put remember we, we had the cross the cross uh, the cross button code somewhere saved so you just copy this remember these things you don't need to commit them in the memory as a sharp programmer just paste them somewhere uh, then you uh, you just call it whenever you want so i just go to this point event procedure hit the three dots then paste this one in vba as do you want to cross then save so the button works. So whenever I just come to this point, you see now, do you want to cross now? So uh, you don't need to commit these codes in the memory. The next thing is to make sure that these feeds, these feeds uh, can fetch data accordingly. So uh, what I'm supposed to do here is to include an SQL statement. So I right click here, go to design view. I want this field to read from the school, uh, sorry, from the students. So the field that I want read, read here is the current year. You see now, current year. So uh, what I need to do here is to click on this, then go to property sheet, then data, uh, then uh, on the data here, on the raw source, I'll type an SQL statement uh, that is select distinct then current year here this is current current year from from student from student details the table is called uh, student student details you see what i'm doing so i'm reading i'm just reading this i'm reading data you see this is a statement this is a statement Select distinct current uh, current so we have select distinct current year that is the field from student details that is from the table so I save this one and then once I save this one I can be in a position to see you see now it's reading it's reading 2024 from the student details the next one Again, I go back to uh, design view. I want to read the rest. So I want to read the class. This is class. I want to read the class. So I click on this field. Again, here, I just uh, do the same. Just copy this. Uh, just like uh, I am showing you how to be a sharp programmer. So you just uh, paste this here. Uh, what do, we, do I want to read? I want to read uh, from the students here. I want to read the student class 
this one, the student class. So I'll just go to this point here and then read the student student class from student details. Again, I save. Then from here, I can be position to see. You see it's reading. One, two. It is reading from here. Again, I do the same. Go back to design view here. Uh, on the design view, I go to this point again. Design view, check. I want to read the current year and the semester. So I do the same. I go to uh, stream. Uh, the stream, the stream is, let me just confirm again. The stream, the stream is student stream. So we do the same. Go to property sheet here, row source. Uh, that is row source. This is student stream. Uh, we are copying student stream. Like that. Again, we go to the semester. You paste the same. Uh, select distinct. Uh, this is semester. Uh, semester. Like that. From that. So after doing this, now you see it's, it's it can read. I can use this one to filter. It is reading streams. Semester. There is no semester. So we, we can just first of all feed the semester. The semester. Semester. can just call, call it uh, same one. You can have same one. Same one. Just copy this and paste. Everybody is in semester one. Okay. Same one. Same one. Like that. So if I cross this one, I'd go to filter semester. You see now it is reading semester one. If there are three semesters, they just appear on the that is on the uh, drop down list so the next thing here is to now connect is to is to connect this one with the with this query here so mm -hmm, um we, we go now to this query here we go to this query go to this query then close this one now go to where the fields are the respective fields we had five fields these are one, two, three, exam year, semester, stream, class, admission number. Did we have little five? Exam, exam, we have class, stream, semester, and the year. Can't remember. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, it's true. We have five. Okay. So we just go to where the class is here. Then type forms, exclamation mark, form filter, and then the field the field the field is combo now you have to be very keen i think it should be combo what combo two combo two uh, let, let me confirm the name of the combos here you, you click this one go to property sheet uh, then or you will be in a position to see the name the name of the combo up here it is combo two you see here i can see here combo two combo four six uh, yeah they are they are following each other so i can be in a position to do that so again we go to this this is combo two you see what i am doing here forms it is reading a form called filter and the field name or the combo is combo two so you just need to copy this copy this one then go to where the stream is uh the stream this is class class should be combo what you must be very keen Com class class is combo combo four so class is combo four this is combo four you must be keen combo four this is combo four then stream 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 rest confirm stream is combo six so stream again cross this stream here stream is combo six combo six then the year the year should be combo two that one i can remember combo two and uh, then we have the semester the semester the semester should be combo eight you see i am reading here so the semester is combo combo eight uh here i paste this 
then go to combo 8. You see now how I'm doing, going about it. Now what I'm doing here, I'm now connecting this, this one with the query so that whenever I click on the enter max button, the system will automatically filter according to this small form. That is the filter form for that matter. So to execute the button, you will type this code, do cmd, that is do command, open form, the name of the form here, the name of the form, comma, AC normal, then do command maximize, that means the form is maximized, and then the small form is crossed, me dot visible equals to false, that crosses the, the small form. So um, here, um, we just go to, uh, we cross this one, want to cross this one so that we can go back to our form so we are here in this form of ours is called main form so in this code here I'll type main form main form that is the name of the form so our code will open the main form I copy this see where I put it so uh, uh, I, I am in this code here so I open my filter form this button, you click on this button, enter max, then go to property sheet, then go to event, on click. What happens when I click on it? So I click on the three dots and then paste that code here. You see where I have uh, pasted the code? So do CMD, it will open my main form in normal mode and then maximize it and then cross the small form. That's what happens. So here I just save this one then view. You see now, when I come to this point, 2024, I then go to form 1, uh, north, then semester, semester 1, then click on enter max. You see what happens? It has automatically filtered for me one north, since I have only chosen one north, and I have not chosen one south. So if I cross this again, then open this form, and choose one south or i choose form 2 s enter max it will automatically uh, show me the students or the student who belong to that class you see now i can just come to this point unit one you see i can now fill max for uh, guys in to south the next thing i want to make sure that to south is written here or the class is, is written here in a bigger way or in a larger font so i go to design view then go to, I cross this, <coughs> I go to add existing, then I can just go to uh, the class, the class that has been filtered, so I want the class and the stream, this one's here, I want these two here, so I can just delete the labels, and then have this, this is the class and the stream, the class and the stream here it will be displayed here then I want them to be this one to be transparent so I cross this I go to property sheet uh, I choose or then I go to back style I choose transparent transparent then increase the font I want them to be centered and then to be size 18 and borrowed so uh, I go home view so you see now I have Two south displayed there, but still it's not attractive as I want. Uh, I want them to be big size 26, and then I don't want to have that border style. Border style should be transparent, like that. I don't want the borders to appear. Yeah, good, like that. You see now I'm in a position to see the class I am uh, fearing max for. So this one should be. That way. I wanted them to be closer to each other. You see now, I'm feeling to south. And whenever I cross this one, if I cross this one, I go to filter again, I filter one south. Then enter max. You see now, I'll be feeling max for, uh, that is for the the, the specific class that um, uh, uh, I want. Then, uh, also, uh, when whenever I click on uh, this button here, this button like this, uh, 
I should get the students taking that unit. So in my next session, in our next lesson, I'll take you through how to uh, to ensure that the only that is the only student taking a certain unit are the one displayed whenever the button is uh, uh, clicked. That is using Visual Basic for application. Lastly, on the same as we end our tutorial, I will be taking you through how to produce a report card or a report form or a merit sheet using the same procedure. Remember to subscribe. Okay, in this session, we shall do the, the, the units filtering. Remember, in our other form, we were ticking or checking the units. Like, for example, I want this student, Maxwell, to be taking unit 2 and unit 5 and unit 7. So, uh, whenever I go to one node and select unit 7, I will get two students out of three. Remember, I have three students. We can also change this one to be in, to be in one uh, in one node, so that uh, we can make sure that um, uh, we we have one, two, three, four. But we work on unit seven. Unit seven only three are taking unit seven, and only three here only actually one, two taking unit one. So. Uh, what you do, you just go to the button. Like, for example, I go to unit 2. This button, I then go to event procedure of on click here. Just the one we are using. And wherever the cursor is here, at the start, you paste the following code. Uh, that is me dot filter equals to the unit. The unit here is unit 2. Yes. Me dot, me dot filter on equals to true. So this is the whatever you copy. This is the code. You can pause the video to write it down. Then we go to the next unit. This is unit um, unit uh, three. Unit three. You do the same. You just change this one to unit three. This is unit three. That is the code to filter. Then we go back. This is unit four. You paste the code there. This is the code. You change this two to four. Uh, that is the code that is uh, making sure that only student taking that unit are considered whenever you click that button. This is unit 5. This is 5. Again, I go to unit 6, paste. This is unit 6. This is unit 6. Then, again, this is unit 7. And we are done for that case, unit 7. So I save. So, uh, the next thing is to uh, go to this point and then run it yeah, save then run cross or so i go to my filter form i want to go to one node uh, so i go to form one node remember we are working on unit seven and unit one only three should be displayed so these are my students whenever i click on unit seven you see now it has filtered it has only displayed three because three are the ones taking unit 7. You see now when I go to unit 1, only 2 taking unit 1. And when you go to the subject filter, one node, you get that unit 2 is only taken by, that is unit what? Unit, uh, we are in unit what? Unit 2. Unit 2, we are in unit 1, sorry. Unit 1 should be taken by only 2. You see this one is 1 south. It's actually very true. If I, I add them, all of them, like that, then cross this or, when I go back to filter to form one node, all of them, all of them will be displayed as taking unit one. You see all of them, whenever I click on unit one, all of them, all of them, uh, four of them uh, are taking the unit. But when I go to something like unit seven, you see it's working. It's just filtering uh, whatever I want. So the next thing here is to create, uh, is to create a mark sheet. So to create the mark sheet, uh, you follow the same method here. So you just uh, display whatever uh, you want uh, displayed. Like for example, I can just go to create. Then I just go to report design here. This is my report design. I just want to create it. Then I can copy the, the master query here. Copy. 
then paste. I just call it report card. Report card. So on the report card here, that is the one that I use here. So I just go to this point uh, or record source. I choose report card. Then I save this one as report card. Uh, report card. That is the report card. Then the next thing is just now to display. Remember what we did on this one, uh, whereby we took our DLOOKUP. So I can just come here and copy this. Copy this. Copy. Then go back to my report card here. Uh, I display a text box up here. Remove the label. Like that. Then paste your stuff here. Paste. Like that. Then you can just do your formatting as you wish. Uh, as you wish board so this is will display my school whenever i run that one it will display my school then the next thing is to go to back to design or click here then go to add existing fields so here i want to add the the add the admission number of the student that is the admission number of the student here admission number Admission number will be displayed here. The admission number will be displayed there. Then the name, the student name will be displayed. The student name, admission number, student name. The class, that is the exam class and the exam stream. So the class. Remember, you use the, the 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 exams, the exam and the stream, the class and the stream. It will be displayed there. Then the year, the exam year, and also the semester, the exam year and the semester, the exam semester, the exam semester. Will be displayed there like that then these ones you can just make them red and bold like that this is the student admission number and the name so the next thing to do here is the uh, the units the units the student is taking the exam units so the exam unit up to this point here yeah? it will be displayed so you can uh, no 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 undo i want them displayed somewhere there like that and this one should be there then this one should be left aligned, should be black, then the marks here should be black, like that. Then we shall have the total here, copy this, you can just do it here in the notepad, we shall have this one, plus, plus unit 2. Unit three, unit three, plus unit four, plus unit five, plus unit six, plus unit seven, like that. So this is what we have. Copy this. You want to get the total max. The total max here equals to that one. And then I save this. The next thing I want to remove the the, the border. So mm -hmm. back style here we should have transparent border style transparent so that we don't have the borders then the next thing after doing that after having done that one 
uh, we can make sure that mm -hmm, the you can just go back to first of all cross this one cross this one now once you cross that one we go back to exams design view here so this ones we put default value as zero no, this is the the this one default value zero 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 default value zero default value zero again for unit seven default value zero and also this one default value zero then can save that one now the next thing is to include uh, is to include the filter form so that you can produce report forms of a certain class so what i need to do is to copy this filter remember the way we created that one there is no need of repeating so we copy this one as report form i just call it report like that so we have the report then uh, this one the next thing here is to change we go back to report card this 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 is the uh, the the, the uh, raw source so i go to design view we change this filter this filter with the report with the report like that we change again this filter with the report like that close this one we change the filter with the report we change this one with the report like that so that it leads report it leads this that's what I, I am supposed to do you see now I am, I am saving on time avoiding too much reputation then uh, the next thing is to make sure that um, whenever I click this one this one now will be called uh, not to enter marks but report card view report card like that tdb view report card view report card for that matter good i'm just giving it a different uh, view so uh, the next thing is to make sure that whenever i click on this button whenever i click on this button this one uh, it produces the report card that is uh, produce the the report card so i go to property sheet event on click procedure so on click here it will be uh, do we shall change this it will be dot open report open report then the report name the report name is report card report card to be a view report preview let's work with that one then i just uh, cross this one let's try to see so when i come to this point 2024 uh, form one node semester one view report card you see it will now produce report card for a node this ones but there are no marks you have not fed marks so you cannot see the marks it, it, it will produce the report card so <clears throat> you see now it's working well that's how now you you, you can be in a position to uh, come up with the complete system that is uh, using Visual Basic for application. Remember, you can request for this copy so that you can have the codes uh, as you, you you wish, so that you can really copy paste or just try to look at how the the, the codes are 
written. Thank you very much for watching and also remember to subscribe, remember to share and also remember to come back and see what I have uh, done uh, in our next session.